Hi, I'm Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. This routine is all about the shoulders. We are, will be strengthening and stretching the whole body with a nice focus on opening up the chest and working on these guys. Come join me on the mat. We will start our practice at the top of our mat. Okay, so everyone come up to the top of the mat. Feet are gonna be hip width distance apart. Draw the belly in, starting in Tadasana. Okay, from here, we're gonna raise our arms all the way up, reaching up, inhale, and then exhale. Let's take our hands down to the floor. Draw the belly in, come on up to that flat back. Hands are at the tops of the thighs. Okay, draw the belly in, and then exhale, take it down to the toes. Breathe out. Okay, inhale, come on all the way back up, reaching up, lengthening, inhaling, and then exhaling, taking your hands to the heart. I'll do that again. Arms all the way up. Inhaling, lifting. Exhaling, diving down to the toes. Drawing the belly in, weight in the heels. This time, taking your hands up, not just to the tops of the thighs, but I want you to see if you can start to grab onto the hips here. We're going to start to roll the shoulders back and down to the tail. Drawing the belly in. Lengthening here, still in flat back. Breathing in. And then exhale, come on down to the toes. Exhale out. Inhale, raise your arms all the way up. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, take your hands to the heart. Nice Tadasana, mountain pose. Again, we're doing that again. We're going to raise your arms up. Lift, inhale, reach. And exhale, we're going to dive down to the toes. Breathe out. Okay, with a nice tight belly, we're going to come up to that flat back. This time, I'm going to take my hands where my thumbs are kind of in the crease of my hips where they're bent, and then the fingertips are kind of going behind me, so I'm rolling and opening up the chest and the shoulders, okay? Remembering that this is a heart opener, and we're working our shoulders and our arms. We're breathing here, it's pretty dynamic, so if you need to bend the knees, support your spine, and then let's come down to the toes, breathe out. Okay, again, inhale, lifting all the way up, reaching up, inhale, exhale, take your hands to the heart. Good, well done. Arms all the way up, reach up, lift, lift, lift. Exhale, dive down to the toes. <sighs> Inhale, coming up to flat back. This time I'm gonna take my hands, turning my palms, my palms are going down to the ground, and I'm really opening up. So now my fingertips are almost kind of touching where my tailbone is. Lifting, opening up the chest, breathing in, and then exhale, hands down, breathe out. Okay, so we've done a few different variations. Want you to try that one more time on your um in your own and best pace. Okay, so arms up, hands to the heart. Last one, breathing in, lifting, and then exhale, dive to the toes. Inhale the flat back. So I'm really reaching around, opening up my shoulders and my chest, and then I'm exhaling, coming down to the toes, breathing out. Inhale, raise your arms all the way up. And then exhale, taking your hands to the heart. Great. Okay, arms all the way up. Take them down to the mat. Breathe out. Hands down to the mat. Let's step back into downward facing dog. So this is your first downward dog of your practice here. I want you to spread the fingers. Draw the belly in and up. Draw those hips up, up, up. And you're in this upside down V. Okay, see how I'm bending my knees? I want you to walk it out a little. And then... You can bend the knees, lift up the backs of the thighs, but still engage the tops of the arms. Okay? Your gaze should be in the middle of the mat. Press into your finger pads. And then if the heels want to fall down and drop down, great. Great. Okay, come on up on the toes. Bring your knees down to the mat. Let's melt into child's pose. Breathe out. Exhale. Now from here, let's press ourselves up into cow pose. Inhaling here, opening up the chest. Exhaling, rounding the back. So in this posture, we're always making sure that our shoulders are stuck on top of the wrists, hips on top of the knees, okay? So breathing in from the tailbone all the way up through the front of the spine to your throat. And then exhaling, rounding the back from your throat to your tail, chin into the chest. Draw the belly in and up, press into your hands. Okay, one more time, breathing in, cow pose. And exhale, cat pose. Great. Come to flat back. Let's step the left foot between the hands into low lunge. Perfect. 
and take the left hand on top of that left thigh. Take the right arm all the way up, reaching, lengthening, breathing in, and then exhale, release. Now let's take both hands if they agree to go both up. Inhale, lift, relax the shoulders. Arms are extended, but the shoulders are in the body. And the arms are in the body, breathing in, and then exhale, breathing out. Okay, one more time. Inhale, lift, lift and lengthen, and then exhale, release. Breathing in, chest up, tuck the back toes under, spread those fingers, step back, downward dog, please. Exhale out, okay? Make it count. Engage the tops of your arms, draw the belly in and up, and maybe you're still walking it out. Maybe you're feeling a little stiff. There are no rules to how this downward dog really needs to be. You need to just be working on strengthening and stretching the whole body. And don't forget to breathe. Okay, up on the toes, bring your knees to the mat. Step forward with your right foot this time. Knee on top of the ankle, back knee of course behind the hip. Right hand's gonna be on top of that right thigh. Left arm's gonna come up, really open up the chest. Breathing in and then out, release. How about both hands now? Inhaling, reaching and lengthening. Exhale, releasing. We're gonna do that one more time. Breathing in, lifting up. And then exhale, release. Inhale, chest up. Tuck the back toes under, spread those fingers, downward dog. Exhale out, breathe out. Great. Come on up on the toes. We're gonna to walk the feet toward the hands to the top of our mat again, back into forward fold. Inhale, come on up to that flat back to your choice. Where do you want to put your hands, right? Where do you want to have them for that flat back? And then come down to the toes, breathe out. Inhale, raise your arms all the way up. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And then exhale, take your hands to the hips. We're going to step back now with your right foot. So I'm mirroring you now. Okay, so stepping back with the right foot and having the hips square to the front of the mat. Arms are going to come on up. I want you to straighten the front leg, lifting, lengthening, and then exhale. We're going to bend down, take the arms down. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Breathing in and out. Two more. Breathing in. Exhale out. One more. Breathing in and out. Okay, I want you to interlace the fingers. Roll the shoulders back and down. Draw the belly in and up and lift the chest. Holding it here, pressing significantly into those feet. Breathing in and out. Now I want you to inhale here and on the exhalation, bring yourself to the center of the body, bending over and lifting the knuckles up to the sky into humble warrior. Making sure you're still in that really nice solid stance here. I want you to breathe. Relax the back of your neck. But try to have those shoulders up away from the ears. Moving them away. Inhale here. And then let's exhale. Release the hands down to the ground. And I want you to reposition the body so that your hands are going to touch. I want you to tuck the toes under in that back right foot. And I want you to draw the belly in and lift the arms all the way up into high lunge. Awesome. Perfect. Breathing in here and out. Now we're going to do it dynamically. Straighten, inhale, and then exhale, sink. Now, if this is too much, then you're gonna go back to what we did before, where the foot was planted down in warrior one. Otherwise, stay with me here. Inhale, lift, exhale, bend. Breathing in, exhale, bending, chest up. Inhale, lift, exhale, sink. One more, breathing in and out. Let's take our hands to the hips. I want you to push off of that back leg, and plant it down so now you're in warrior two, okay? So warrior two is the back toe should be either 90 degrees or more 75, so they're turned in slightly. Remember we're watching this back hip. The back hip doesn't wanna scooch up. We wanna bring it parallel to the floor so you can feel the glutes working. Take the arms out, 
Take a look behind, take a look in front, relax those shoulders, and let's look over the front middle finger into infinity. Breathing here, inhaling and exhaling. So remember, standing poses are meant to build heat and strengthen the body. So the more you press into those feet, the more you engage your belly muscles, lifting through the crown of the head, right? The more you may burn those calories or you're starting to feel that heat, that internal burn in the body. Okay, now let's dynamically move with this. We're gonna breathe in, lifting up, straighten the front leg, and bend. Okay, two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend, looking to the front. Inhale, looking to the center. And then exhale, bend. Okay, now from here, you may be familiar with this, we're gonna go from warrior two into that really neat Russian dance pose. Perfect, we're bending into that right knee. Our weight is in the heels, um, at this heel, and our weight is in the back side, chest up, okay? Perfect, now we're gonna sink back into warrior two. But check this, shoulders need to still be on top of the waist, okay? So back to warrior two, inhale here, and then exhale, we're gonna sink. Weight in the back side, perfect. Again, breathing in. So when we're here, still weight should be back here, not just on that front leg. Exhale, bend, perfect. Again, breathing in, equally distribute that weight, and then exhale, sink. Perfect, let's do two more. Breathing in, exhale, sink. Perfect, nice, breathing in, bending warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, into this beautiful Russian dance posture. Awesome. Let's come on back to warrior two and swing the arms up. Breathe in and then exhale, breathe out. <sighs> well done. Let's hold it here for the count. Three, tight belly, two, one. Give those arms a break. <sighs> now you can roll the shoulders out. Three, two, one, and let's switch and do the reverse on the other side, okay? So now we're gonna turn those front toes to become the back. Back toes are gonna become front toes, okay? We're gonna sink into that front knee, and now we're going to do the reverse on the opposite side. So now you are gonna be in warrior two posture. Remember, back foot is 90 degrees or a 75-ish degree angle. This hip should not be um, up, we gotta bring it down and you're gonna feel that butt muscle, gluteus maximus medius, working it here. Draw your belly in, lift all the way up through the crown of the head, extend. Let's look over the front middle finger. Back is flat against an imaginary wall. Breathing, holding it for three. Are you breathing? Two, one. Let's dynamically move with it. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Again, breathing in. Exhale, sink. One more time, breathing in. Exhale, sink. Now from here, we're gonna breathe in and then push into that back side. Chest up, good. Back again, inhale, exhale. Awesome. Breathing in, breathing out. Two more to make it five. Breathing in, breathing out. Push, push, push in the back. Good, inhale, exhale. Awesome. Okay, come on back to center. Tight belly here, breathing. And let's release. Okay, roll the shoulders out. Three, two, one. Do you remember where we were from here? We're gonna turn into that, turn our bodies. Now we're gonna be um, facing the front, the new front of our mat, squaring off our hips. The back foot is gonna be on the ball of our foot now, extending a nice straight leg here, high lunge, okay? So remember, if high lunge is too challenging, you're gonna drop that heel, okay? Otherwise, take the arms up, 
Now straighten, breathe in, and exhale, sink. Make sure this knee is on top of the ankle. Inhale, lift, exhale, sink. Breathing in, lift up that chest, exhale, sink, two more. Breathing in and out. Inhale and exhale, perfect. I want you to take your hands onto the hips, drop that back foot, readjust yourself. So I'm adjusting so my hips are gonna be square to the front, and now we're in warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, okay? Arms up, lift and bend, inhale, exhaling, breathing in and out, two more, inhale, lift, exhale, and in and out, perfect. Let's step forward, reach all the way up, breathe in, and I want you to sink into Utkatasana, chair pose here. Reminding yourself that in this pose, tail is relaxed, Draw your belly and lift up the heart. Inhaling here, exhale, breathe in, reach up and dive down to the toes. Exhale out. Inhale, come on up to that flat back. So I'm gonna take my fingertips around to those tail, my tailbone, roll the shoulders back and down, opening up my chest. Breathing here, in and out, release. Hands down to the mat, let's step back to downward dog. Exhale out. I want you to lift up those hips. Great. Are you walking it out, maybe? Okay, come on up on the tops of the toes. Let's round our back and find ourselves into a nice plank pose. Only holding it here for three seconds. Three, two, one. Keep your elbows nice and snug to the body. You may drop the knees if you wish to. And let's chaturanga, come on down. Before you get to the ground, let's swoop on up, slither up into a nice cobra. So we have a couple choices here. You can be here, Bhujangasana, shoulders roll back and down to the tailbone, or maybe you're in Sphinx pose. Okay, your arms are like train tracks here. In all cases, you're drawing the belly in and lifting up the heart. Taking those really nice breaths. Reach your toes to the back and relax your tailbone and your sacrum. Okay, couple more breaths here, please. Inhaling, exhaling. Maybe you're looking down, stretching the back of the neck, in and out. One more breath, inhale and exhale. I want you to come on all the way down, down to the mat and breathe. Ah. So your head should be in your hands at this point, okay? You're going to be relax a little bit more. Relax the shoulders. And now I'd like you to take both arms in front of you and stretch them. So remember how we did that, um, we've done pencil pose when we're lying on our back, reaching your fingertips behind you. Well, now you're reaching them in front and now you're reaching the toes behind. Okay, so from here, inhale here, and then exhale. I want you to lift up to Superman, Superwoman posture, hovering just above the mat, arms and legs. We're gonna hold it here for three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Breathing in, and then exhale, lifting up, holding it, three, two, one, and release. <sighs> Again, last one, breathing in, and then exhale, come on up, keep on breathing, three, two, one, release. Now we're gonna add a little swim here, okay? So we're gonna breathe in, and then exhale, I want you to come on up, and for the count of 10, I want you to start to pedal your feet, just like this, and imagine that you are swimming. It's maybe something tropical versus like a community center pool with chlorine. And now I'm gonna start the cap. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Are you breathing? 4, 
three, two, one, and relax. <sighs> so we took that swim and let's go see the crocodile. So let's turn those toes out into Makrasana, crocodile pose. Head should be in your hands. You're relaxing your sacrum. Feet are separated from each other. Taking nice deep breaths in and out. Inhaling and exhaling. Okay, great. Now let's place our feet back down onto the ground. Okay, we're gonna take our right arm in front. Okay, so when we take our arm in front, Let's try to be conscious of keeping the arm in the body versus um, really overstretching it, okay? So we wanna stretch the shoulder joint and the arm ligaments, but we don't wanna overstretch that we're pulling it up. So just extend the left, um, did I say the left it's the, or the right? Let's take the left arm. I'm gonna do the same arm as you. Left arm in front, okay? And then I want you to take the opposite leg into your hand. Okay, so that's the right hand and the right foot pulling together here. So from here, we're going to breathe in and then out. We're gonna lift up slightly. Now I want you to gauge, how does this feel? Let's start to see if this changes if we transition the hand into from a straight arm to a 90 degree. So it's gonna be in front of you like this. So we can press ourselves up a little, open up the chest, open up our shoulders, okay? And we got that. Breathing here, in, and then out. I want you to release. Okay, so I'm just releasing a little bit with my leg here. The leg is, the foot and the leg is actually assisting my uh, shoulder to open up a bit more. So rather than taking my hand here, I've decided I'm gonna switch it to the inner side of my um, foot to open up my shoulder, okay? So we're gonna do that again. Breathing in here, and then exhale, pulling up. So I want you to practice this where you are making the comfortable choice for you, and you're feeling that nice stretch in your shoulder. But also, you're subsequently also stretching and working your quads as well, okay? Are you breathing? And then release. One more time, breathing in, and then exhale, come on up. And then let's release completely. So I want you to, with control, relax that foot, relax the head down. You may take both arms into, um, your head into your arms here. Breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. Okay, let's try the other side. So now I'm stretching my right arm in front, keeping it nicely in the body still, but still stretching it. And then I'm gonna take my left hand to my left foot. Okay, I'm gonna breathe in here, and then lift up, breathe out, okay? So see how your quad is feeling, and fe see how your shoulder is doing on that left side, okay? And then release. So we're gonna to continue to breathe with this, inhale, and then exhale. And I'm switching my hand to this 90 degree, so I'm turning it to um, turning it inward. And it's helping me and assisting me to lift up my chest more significantly here. Okay, are you breathing in? And then that's a release. <sighs> Inhale and then exhale. Come on up. Keep on breathing, don't hold your breath. Okay, and then release. We'll do that a couple more times. Breathing in and out. Keep on breathing and then release. I'm switching my grip to the inner side, seeing if it changes anything for me. I'm gonna release, breathing in, and then come on up. Okay, I'm kind of hooking my wrist around my um, ankle here. It's kind of changing it, but I'm gonna go back to my original grip. So that's your choice. Last one, inhale, and then exhale, lift up. Great, don't forget to breathe, and release everything with control. <sighs> Let's take our feet out into Makarasana again, crocodile pose, okay? We're turning those toes out, and then we're releasing and breathing. Take a nice deep breath in. 
and out. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Well done. I want you to take those tops of the feet back down to the ground and see if you can grab onto both feet now. Okay. And from here, I want you to breathe in and then exhale. I want you to lift up the chest. Now we're really opening up the shoulders. Okay. If you need to use a strap, go ahead and grab that and wrap it around the legs. You can be pulling on the strap here. Otherwise, holding it here and breathing, opening up the heart, opening up the chest, and then only doing as much as the body says, yeah, I'm happy with this. Inhale, and then exhale. That's great. Release back into Makrasana. Release the sacrum. Relax the body. One deep, conscious breath here. Inhaling and exhale. Well done. Let's take the tops of the feet back down onto the ground, tops of the fingers up to the tops of the shoulders. I want you to push them up, push up and back to child's pose. Melt here, breathing out. Take a nice deep breath in and out. And let's take our arms over to the right side of our mat. Melting and stretching at the same time. So I'm melting my sits bones over my heels, but I'm stretching in to the intercostals, those spaces between my ribs on the left side of my body as I stretch over to the right. And I come back to center. Let's go to the other side. Stretch here. Awesome. Come on back to center. I'd like you to press yourself up and come on to the wide start um, part of your mat. Okay. I'm going to use a blanket here underneath me because I don't want any grumpy knees. So if you need to have extra cushioning, we're going to be on our knees for a little bit. Okay. So we're going to start off with our knees hip width distance apart. Shoulders right on top of the waist. Great, so we're lifting up the thighs away from the kneecaps, draw the belly in toward the navel, lift up, 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 through the crown of the head, perfect. Arms up, touch, and then let's melt down, breathe out. Palms are up, back to the hands or to the back of the body. I want you to relax here. So you're kind of in this child's pose with your hands on the back of your back. Now come on back up, breathing in, Inhale as you come up, and then exhale down again. Exhale, melt, relax. One more time, breathing in, tight belly, come on up. Inhale as you come up, touch, and then exhale, hands to the hips. Perfect, okay, let's start with the left foot out. Heel and knee are gonna be in line with each other. So just as a friendly reminder, toes can be up, down, or forward, as long as the heel and the knee are in line, perfect. So I'm gonna go with this posture here. Arms are gonna come up, touch, and then let's take that left hand and slide it down the leg and stretch over. Parigasana, gate pose. Relax the shoulders and melt. So where are you melting? Here, as you open up. Where are you opening up a little bit more? Even here. So I want you to expand this space even though it feels like it's scrunched. Perfect, come on up, breathe in. And exhale, sink. Let's make sure we're not locking this knee, okay? So we don't hurt or injure that knee. Come on back up, breathe in. And breathe out. Awesome. One more time, inhale, lift and exhale. So making sure we're not locking that knee, let's take this bottom arm and imagine we're holding a really nice crystal ball up there. Perfect. From that crystal ball, I want you to make sure that the back is flat against this imaginary wall. And remember, we're in a gate pose, so we're in this beautiful opening to something wonderful, and we're holding a crystal ball of energy. And if you don't like the ball idea, then you know, I always love food. So maybe you're holding a pineapple. Maybe that's too heavy. How about a small apple? 
Okay, you guys okay here? Let's breathe in and out. Okay, let's send this crystal or ball of fruit or whatever it is you have here. Lift it, inhale, lift, send it to the universe. Breathe and then release. Take the arms down and relax. Perfect. Let's take this right arm and send it down to the earth. Okay, see where my hand is facing? I am facing toward the wall here versus to you. So I'm gonna face the wall so I'm nicely in line and I'm not gonna hurt my wrist or my elbow. And my shoulder is gonna be on top of the wrist as best as possible. If the toes were up over here, I want you to place them down now. Maybe you're turning them out in front. You have to decide what's best for your body. In all cases, I want you to have this feeling where this hip is kind of pulling forward. Okay, so this keeps the lower back and the hip nice and happy, but the upper chest is rotated open. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna open up and give you a high five, an air five. Yes, high five. Okay, now feel this beautiful line of energy from the toes going out and over the leg, through the chest, over into the fingertips, reaching, breathing here. Inhale and exhaling. One more time, breathing in and out. Let's take the hand to the hip. Do you notice how my head is neutral to my spine? So make sure you keep it that way. I'm gonna plant that hand down to give me more stability. And I want us to open up the chest more here. Great, see my ball of my foot? I'm pressing it into this imaginary wall on this side. Great, now my neck is feeling a little strained, so I'm gonna keep it neutral to my spine. Now virtual high five to me. Breathe in, and then let's send it over. Same energy from the ball of the foot, extending out, using our core strength to opening the chest up, breathing here in and out. If the neck is straining, you can look down to the bottom hand, breathing in and out. Last breath, breathe in, and then release the foot, release the body, come on up. Ha! Ah, well done. Roll the shoulders out. Three, two, one. Okay, so plant that foot down. Make sure it's in heel and um, heel and knee is in line. Take the arms up, swing them down, breathing in, touch, and then again, sway. Awesome. Reset, breathe in. And they're kind of gonna sway this way, but just taking our fingertips down to the ground here. Awesome. Okay, come on back up, lift, inhale, and then release. Okay, you have to do on the other side. So release that knee. I'm always gonna rock back and forth, get that chi and blood moving back into this knee. Woo, that knee, wow, it's released now. So now we're gonna switch knee in line with the heel. Toes up, down, or forward. Your choice, your yoga. And you notice that not every side is the same. Shoulders, again, has to be on top of the waist. Lift up those thighs, micro bend in that knee. Draw the belly in, lift up, touch. Inhale, and then exhale, sway. So keeping things in mind, we're stretching and having more opening, being more expansive. Think about this crunchy squish spot to be lifted and open too, okay? Keep on breathing here. Come on back up, breathing in and out. Sway, again, breathing in, lift and out. Again, breathing in and out. Let's do one more for good luck. Breathing in and out. Awesome. So from here, we're going to draw the belly in. Back is still against that imaginary wall behind us. We're going to swoop up and hold that whatever thing that you want to hold, that that's beautiful, imaginary object that's very light. So there's no strain on the shoulders. Keep on breathing in and out. 
Remember, you're this gate pose, this gateway, holding the key in the hands. Okay, let's take it up. Breathe in. Relax the shoulders and out. From here, breathe in. Send it up to the universe. Lifting up to the heavens. Look at those fingertips. Breathe in. Draw the belly in. Lengthen, lengthen. And then release. Send that energy all the way down. Nice and slow. Perfect. You need to roll the shoulders out. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's take this hand down to the ground. Remember, it's facing this wall over here now. Okay, I'm gonna plant that foot down. It can be in line with the other wall or it's turned in front toward you. Okay, give me a virtual high five. High five, yes. Now watch your neck. Make sure it's neutral to your spine. You're gonna feel it. If it's not, it's gonna feel like cranky and like, Ooh, something is cutting off the circulation. We don't want that. So let's press that foot down and like extend over. Maybe take a look over this time. How does that change? Mm, crinky neck. Let's look down to the bottom hand. Keep on breathing. And let's give me a virtual five again here. Inhale and then hand to the hip. Keep that chest open. So remember in this posture, when we have that foot down, this hip is peeling kind of over, spilling rather, spilling over, but the torso is opened up. Okay, so have nice rotation here. So then my hand is planted down, my hand's on the hip. I'm gonna lift that foot off of the ground and press into the ball of the foot to really open up and lengthen. Now, virtual high five here, breathe in, and then extend over. Keep on breathing. Back is flat against the imaginary wall. Take a look, this is overstretched. This is, then this is my arm in the body, right? This is too much, this is just right. Keep on breathing here, maybe looking down to the bottom hand. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath in and out. And then we use that last breath to release. In and then release, come on up. Inhale, come on all the way up. And I like to roll the shoulders out. Let's take the arms up. Inhale, touch and sway. Reset, perfect. Come on back up to center, inhale, lift. And then drop it down and stretch. Perfect. Come on back up. Release. Woo! Okay, let's bring those knees back. Come on down onto your sits bones. I'm gonna move the um, blanket. So if you wanna put them underneath your um, sits bones, so you're um, protected, like between the sits bones and the heels, that's really great and comfortable on the quad sometimes, okay? So you have to choose, it's your practice. Now from here, I'd like you to open up the chest for a seated cow pose. And then round the back, seated cow. Great, inhale, open up the chest, seated cow. And exhale, seated cat. Perfect, come now back to neutral position, come onto your sits bones, swing the legs around so that they are hip, feet are hip width distance apart. My fingertips are gonna be facing the front of the mat, right underneath my shoulders. I want you to draw the belly in and then really press into those feet, lift up those hips. I want you to think about, this is a heart opener, opening up the chest and the shoulders, so you really need to really open up and stretch those shoulders. Continue to breathe. We're looking up to the sky, not dropping our head behind us. Keep on breathing, lifting those hips. See if you can drive this energy from your pubic bone and the knees to the front of the, the mat. Inhaling here, exhaling, and then slowly release. Well done. Okay, melt in front. Breathe. 
and then come on up. We're gonna roll out our wrist because sometimes it does a doozy on the wrist. And then interlace the fingers. Stretchy, stretchy, stretch, stretch the other way. Okay, and then we're gonna take our hands down. I want you to come down onto your back. Okay, we're gonna have our knees into the chest for a big hug. Rocking from side to side. And then let's place our feet down and let's take our hands down to the sides of us, okay? Preparing for bridge pose. So your feet should be hip width distance apart. Your heels are fairly close to your sits bones. For this, it's like a, a shoulder stand, really. So we need to make sure there's no strain in the neck and the head. So I want you to press your hands down firmly into the earth beside you and the arms. Now we're gonna breathe in, drawing the belly down to the ground, feeling the hips lift off of the mat. And then as the hips lift off, we're gonna breathe out, lifting them up, putting the weight and pressure into our arms and our shoulders. And as we lift the hips up, I want you to think about the same pubic bone and knees moving up and forward, okay? Breathe in here, holding it, inhaling, and then exhaling, we're gonna slowly release back down. Okay, come into that dog tilt where the tailbone's down onto the ground or pointing down. We're gonna do that again. Inhale, draw the belly down, then breathe out as the hips lift up. Pressure should be in the arms, the hands, and the shoulders. Breathe in, and then exhale, we're gonna slowly melt down. So I want you to continue this, doing it a few more times. So let's do three more times, inhaling and exhaling, lifting up. Inhale when we're up and exhale, melting down. Again, inhale, draw the belly down, then lift the hips up on the exhalation, holding it here, maybe squeezing your glutes, breathing in, and then exhale, breathing out. So remember, no strain on the neck or the head. Everything's in those arms and shoulders. Last one, in and out with the breath. Hold it here. I want everyone to hold it here. See if you can hold it for three breaths. Focusing on making my belly rise and fall with the pressure on my arms and my hands and my shoulders. One more breath in and then out. Ah, relax, perfect. Let's bring your knees into the chest for a really big hug. I'm rocking from side to side and let's round our back, nose to our knees. Inhale, exhaling and slowly release. Well done. Let's lower the right leg down nice and straight. Keeping the left leg bent, let's take the left knee into the chest. Big hug. Let's stick the right arm behind us, opening up here. I want you to breathe in, and then exhale, I want you to lift up. Touch your right hand to the uh, right thigh, and your nose is in line with your belly button. Great, and then breathe out, release. Taking the right arm behind you, in, and then exhale, come on up. Okay, breathing in, and then exhale, release. Do that one more time. Breathing in, exhale, come on up. Breathing in, and then exhale, release. I want you to take both uh, arms above and relax the legs down below. <sighs> okay, release the arms to the sides of you. Take a breath here, breathe in, as though you're in Shavasana, that relaxed pose. <sighs> And then let's switch legs, okay? So right knee is gonna go into the chest. Left arm's gonna go behind you. Relax the shoulders here. We're gonna breathe in. And then exhale, come on up. Round the back. Breathe in. And then exhale, release. Remember, your nose is in line with the navel. Inhaling. Exhale, come on up. Breathing in. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale, come on up, breathe in, 
and exhale, release. Let's release the leg and let's release the arms so that they're both above you. And relax the shoulders, please, here. Inhale. And then exhale on your exhalation. Let's take the arms down into a T position. I'm just going to scooch myself over here. Okay, let's take our knees up to the sky. Bend the knees. Feet are hip with distance apart. And let's just lower the knees down from side to side. Relaxing the belly, the lower back, and the hips. Okay, and then I'm going to fall down and stay on one side. So the side I'm turned to is the left, which means maybe I'm going to see if my head is going to go over to the right side. Now take notice here. I want to make sure that my arms are lower than my shoulders, so I'm not putting any shoulder strain when I'm turning my head. And I'm focused on breathing significantly into my belly, my lower back, and my hips. It helps to close your eyes in this pose, so try to breathe in and out with your eyes closed. One more breath, inhaling, exhale. Come on back to center, let's go to the other side. So you're going to drop the left knees to the other side. And if the head of the neck agrees, then you're going to turn it to the opposite direction of the knees. I'm closing my eyes now so I can really concentrate and direct my intentional breath to my belly. <sighs> my lower back. And my hips. Perfect. Now come on back to center, head and knees. And let's have the bottoms of our feet together, opening up the knees apart in Supta Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose lying on our backs. In this posture, the arms can be out to the sides of you to start. Okay. I'd like you to just tuck the tail under just slightly so that um, you feel comfortable on the lower back. And then how about drawing the chin into the chest so the back of the neck is long. And from here, I'd like you to take the arms up over the head, bend the elbows a little, and stretch over to the left side. Okay, this is a yin, kind of part of our yin yoga practice where we stretch and kind of melt into this side stretch pose. And of course, if the shoulders are hurting you, you can always lower the arm down. Otherwise, let's take a couple breaths here with our eyes closed, our jaw and our face is relaxed. One more breath, please, in and out. Let's scooch on back to center and let's do the other side. I'm kind of turning myself to the other side making sure my neck and shoulders are really happy. So I have a grumpy right shoulder. I'm gonna lower my arm down here. But I'm feeling this really nice stretch on the left side of my body while I'm still opening up my inner thighs. Okay, so two more breaths left here, please. Relaxing the jaw and the face. Perfect. Okay, come on back to center. I'd like you to take your hands down to the sides of you. Help those knees come back to center. Find both knees back into the chest for a nice hug. Okay, and say something nice to yourself in this hug. Like, I'm a good person. Okay, and let's take the feet up. Take the hands up. Let's roll out our wrists, roll out our ankles. Relax the shoulders as you do this. So I'm rolling outward both ways, um, both, I mean, both hands and feet. And then I want you to go inward, please. R wrists and ankles. Great. And once you've worked that, I want you to shake it. Pretend your feet and your hands are wet and you just need to like sprinkle all that wetness onto your face. Yay! Shake, 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 and stop. 
<sighs> you may bend the knees slightly, but keeping the hands and the feet up to the sky, enjoying this downward pressure of gravity, coming back to the torso where all of your beautiful organs are sending blood and chi back to the beginning and the source. Great. We're going to release our hands, keeping the feet up to the sky. Maybe you're bending your knees more significantly so the feet are a bit closer to your head. So you're really feeling that nice downward pressure in the backs of the legs. Take a breath here, breathe in. And then breathe out. I want you to lower the feet down. I want you to take the legs down now. Give yourself a little shake. Now, nice pencil stretch, reach, lengthen here, breathe in, and then exhale. I'd like you to find yourself to close your practice in Shavasana, that relaxed pose where you may settle into your mat and soak in and absorb the benefits of your practice. Closing your eyes, concentrating on your breathing, finding the breath that has supported you in your practice. Inhaling, exhaling. 